Hey guys, what's going on? Blood Mod 14 here. Yeah, new pack. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do what we usually do. Excited to be here for stream today. Gonna send some toot toot tweet tweets and uh, gonna. <clears throat> we're gonna do the usual thing you know i'm gonna talk for a bit and just kind of so yeah new pack in master duel uh oh by the way um <laughs> the uh just how uh how bad my speed is out here in the boonies in uh wisconsin <laughs> so funny how that's become a like a running joke on the channel uh but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, we are kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, you guys will be able to see, you know, here with the update, essentially how bad my speed is. Um, <laughs> uh, no worries, though. So, new pack. Um, I hear the new Kashatira, what's it called? A Rise Heart? Is it, is it a Rise Heart? I, I don't know. Um, is in here. Um, I'm sure there's other, you know, big name cards in this pack that I'm just not thinking of at the moment. But um yeah, we're going to start the stream obviously, you know, by you know, downloading the update. Um there may be a new ban list? Question mark. Let me see if I can do the question mark. Question mark. No, nah, I, I don't know. I just know there's like updates and um yeah. <laughs> you know, Updates for Master Duel, new stuff. Um, basically, what we're going to do to start the stream is we're going to... Well, first of all, I'm going to open the window. But second of all, <laughs> we're going to uh, use all the gems we have and open up, you know, however many packs we can. And, you know, yeah, as we open cards, cards I don't have, we'll discuss them. And, yeah, pretty easy stream, you know, like... That's one of the, uh, <laughs> I was actually talking to this about, uh, with, uh, my nephews and Diego last night, as well as Tim, my editor and, uh, Tim, Hey, uh, Tim, appreciate all you do. I uh, love you, man. Um, Tim's actually been on vacation this week and uh, a much needed, uh, vacation. So if you guys see slower uploads from YouTube, <clears throat> that's why, you know, I'm just kind of covering kind of i'm not really covering for tim but i'm covering for tim uh tim would have had probably 14 more 14 more uploads out this week than i have so far but um yeah i'm just kind of covering for him uh as best i can <laughs> and um what's nice is i actually did uh yeah last night sure i'll link this sure <laughs> i actually found um yeah the uh and Tim and I have been looking for this episode for a while. Uh, yeah, we found an episode of <laughs> Duelist of the Roses. Yeah, and the uh, ranking chat. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what's funny is, uh, you know, I always say this, too. But you guys on Twitch here are ahead. You get the prime, uh, you know, prime real estate, prime time. Yeah, because you guys that saw me stream uh duelist of the roses and you might have win count was way higher than what it is on the utubs on the utubs and that's because you know much like uh, forbidden memories which i'm also going to look for tonight you know post stream um yeah much like forbidden memories there was just one episode one episode of duelist of the roses that was out of order it didn't have Yu-Gi-Oh in the title uh, luckily for Tim, I found it. I found it. I found the lost. Uh, so Duel of Roses ought to be right back on track. And yeah, there's about mm, ten episodes in between now. You know where I've just uploaded and um and the stream <laughs> that we did on the red side. You know because and the only reason I know is because the wind count on the stream and the wind count. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't match up. So, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I found the last, the lost episode, and um, basically the continuation, the finishing duel against Panic, and um, 
<laughs> it was so weird because I titled the episode I found here on my desktop, you know, Stupid Plays from Panic, which, honestly, that was a stupid play of a title for me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the link to the episode that I just posted last night, I guess I'll post it here in chat. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys are interested in Duelist of the Roses. I find that my Twitch audience is vastly different from my, you know, because my YouTube audience, I built it up on, you know, Donna Destiny. I mean, basically, I and I guess Nightmare Troubadour to some extent, but yeah, the content over on YouTube is m mostly old school. I, I guess Naruto and DBZ help too, but yeah, mostly old school. Uh, it's so funny. <laughs> Most of the followers on here, they're from viewer duels. They're from like, Master well and you know Iga Iga's community to an extent. Um there's like maybe three or four people who followed me during the chess streams. So it's an interesting spread, but it's mostly Master Duel. <laughs> and it's funny. You know, I post the VODs over on YouTube. You know, it's just cause like, you know, I already did the content anyway. I go post the VOD, right? Um, not too much reaction over there on YouTube, which is fine. I don't, you know, I don't really mind either way. It's just, you know, it's just like, yeah, I streamed for three hours. I'm sure there's some funny highlights in there. Oh, there's always at least one, at least one funny highlight. So now something I could do and, you know, Tim's on vacation, but I could do this myself, literally. And this would probably be pretty smart. Um, is to take like short clips of um, yeah, just make like a bunch of shorts <laughs> of um some of the you know eight hour vods, you know yeah yeah, <laughs> you know and um uh, and it wouldn't be too hard to find. Um, uh, basically I would just have to find any vod of me going like this, like <laughs> you know, of me like with my face tilted up, you know, and uh you know, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be. Too hard to find. Also, uh, some of those discussions, you know, and again, some of these discussions I just get into with myself. You know, some like Iga's here or somebody's here, and yeah, like the I could do, you know, the discussion breakdowns because a lot of times in stream, I just start random rambling about random topics like the Wii U. Remember that discussion <laughs> or Russell Wilson? <laughs> like, and now some of those discussions are actually, you know, discussions are pretty good. It's just, it's the wrong game platform. For example, if I had been doing a Madden stream while I did the Russell Wilson discussion, I think it would have gotten more views. In fact, I know for sure it would have gotten more views on YouTube. So I don't think the the topic and the discussions are bad. Not at all. I think I need to, when I notice I'm about to get, that's what I think I, needs to happen is that I need to have the self-awareness to say, Oh man, I'm about to get into a deep discussion here. Um, let's just like pause. Let's hit the pause button, reel it in. And let me literally what I was thinking in chat. The discussion headline or like why the Wii U failed and then wait till I stream like Mario. And then or wait till I stream literally 5D's wheelie breakers and then. <laughs> let them have it, you know, um, that is a possibility. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the link to, yeah, the Duels of the Roses uh, next episode and the ranking challenge. So there you go. Um, let's just, uh, check this here. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> In your thinking challenge. Uh, got a new three and row. 
Yeah, yeah. And that's what's nice about that episode is I'm glad I didn't skip it. Uh, we actually got a three in a row to start that episode. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really good. So uh, we can change the capture here. Master Duel. I, actually, maybe I should leave it on just chatting for a minute. Because, um, yeah, this should prompt me for an update here soon, right? Um, yeah, it should. Um, because usually whenever new cards are added to the, uh, yeah, like you have to, um, download the update, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, let me just wait for this here. Oh, I can also close out a bunch of stuff I was working on. Um, another thing I could do, you know, because we are just going to uh, basically have this download and stuff. So I can uh, open my window here. Actually, you know. And actually, guys, yeah, it's not too bad here in uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Um, we had a nice big, uh, cold front move through Wisconsin and, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad. It doesn't feel like summer. Um, if you open the window, ah, uh, like right now, a nice breeze is blowing through and, uh, uh, how's it when, where you guys live? Um, yeah, honestly here. Feels great, man. Feels fantastic. Um, like the best time of year. Um, and I love it. I love October. <laughs> like my favorite month. Um, okay, so it's prompting... How much uh, till affiliate? Oh, me? Uh, probably a long way, I guess. I, I, I'll be honest, I have no idea. Uh, it'll die. Good check. Um, well, we're honestly doing pretty good on followers. Um, I think I checked this morning and we're at 48. Um, so that's good. I, I mean, I probably need to put more time into stream. That's a good question though. Um, let's get this update going though. Cause I know we'll need to, uh, uh, yeah. How much to affiliate? That's, uh. I really should check on that. Um, I'm sure Twitch has certain uh, <laughs> qualifications, you know. Uh, it's funny, I, I'm not even, I hadn't even thought about that or a uh, partner. <laughs> not even, I, I just, I was just like, man, I know there's new cards today and uh, yeah, let's get downloading. You know? <laughs> so um, yeah, that's definitely uh, really look into that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, uh, hmm. All right, you guys are about to see my internet speed out here in the boonies in Wisconsin. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> How long is it going to take for 94 megabytes? <laughs> oh, man. Not, no, no lie, guys. This might take 10 minutes. Like, no lie. Oh, good. Um, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, Iga's actually streaming right now. So, uh, yeah, hope your stream is going pretty good, Iga. Hope you just keep it going. Uh, if you take another <laughs> 16 hour, um, yeah, be sure to eat. Uh, like, I don't, yeah, I, honestly, you told me that, Iga, I was, I was a little worried, but, uh, that's like, that's, like I said, it's, it's both impressive and somewhat, uh, I was just like, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, amazing, really. Um, so, but yeah, you guys watching the VODs? Like I told you, go show Iga some love over there. Help her out. Um, actually, she might be close to Ophelia. In fact, I'm 99% sure uh, Iger, I, <laughs> sorry, I'm 99% sure Iga, uh, Komine is closer to affiliate than I am. So, yeah, jump over to Twitch and give her some follows, guys. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to give, show her some love over there. 
Uh, hey, Erica. What's going on? Um, oh, hey, True Nadia. <laughs> oh, the download's done. Or is it done? Or do I need to do even more? Uh, uh, well, anyway, I guess we click start here. I'm going to double click because it's my... Uh, okay. Uh, I guess let's see. Yeah, like I said, that's the plan. Um, get the mission right away. And um, yeah, let's open some new cards. So uh, let's go for it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I forgot to message you, Erica. But uh, yeah, they want to put it into Google Advertising, which... I'm still going to try to convince them, to be honest. Uh, but my my channel, Financier, yeah, they want to go with, uh, yeah, and you can do that. You know, you can kind of do, like, YouTube networks and stuff, and, and it makes sense. You know, I don't I don't blame the Financier for saying, like, hey, you know, you've been doing the YouTube for a while. Let's just promote that. And, yeah, you could pay for, like, YouTube advertising, though draw people in and whatnot but um um yeah and i could always convince them like hey google advertising now logo later oh. uh advanced notice what revision of s wait what no oh, my opinion is yeah oh yeah I, yeah that's mine is uh ooh, duelist cup ooh no my opinion is uh all in, you know, <laughs> if I ever go to kick, all in, all in, everything, advertising, artwork, everything. <laughs> That's my opinion, but uh, it's all good. Uh, it's their money, so I'm not going to tell them what to The duelist, oh, let's read this in the Dragon Ball Z announcer voice. The duelist cup event will take place during the dates below 2024 season begins. Wait, it's 2023. Fight against duelists from all over the world to become the very best, like Ash Ketchum, like no one ever was. From this season, the World Championship Finals Invitation will also be awarded in the following ways. The top-ranked players in each area of the World Championship Qualifier area for the 2024 season will be awarded to the World Championship Finals Invitation as team leaders. More details will be provided. Uh, I did, yeah. Um, birthday money right now. I'm actually going to try to fix my car. <laughs> car only needs 70 bucks combined, so <laughs> I'm going to fix my car with that. Uh, in the Duelist Cup of the 2024 season, to be held three times in total, including October 2023, the top-ranking players of the second stage will be granted a World Championship Finals invitation as team leaders. Season points. I don't know why I'm reading this. There's no way we qualify, but... You know, I'm already halfway done reading it, so let's keep reading. Season points, high-ranking duelists. Season points will be... Season points will be awarded to the top-ranking players in the second stage of each duelist cup and world championship qualifiers. Season points will be combined through duelist cups for the 2024 to be held three times in total, including the one in October 2023. I see. So right now, the Duelist Cup has the qualifiers, so season points are awarded individuals, but rankings will be based on the total points of the three team members. Much like Team Tayo and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Once the World Championship qu Quillers, hey, Quillers. Uh, hey, hey, yo, Steam, give me that refund. <laughs> give me that refund, Steam. Uh, what? This doesn't say qualifiers. Once the World Championship Quillers in, the top-ranked team on the points ranking will receive World Championship Finals invitation. I'll have to be sure to clip that one. Uh, I'm not going to read this part, but uh, under consideration, okay. The winning team of WCS 2023 will be invited as the participating team to the 2024 World Championship. The finals participants chosen at the World Championship Qualifiers Top ranking players at the second stage of the Duelist Cup. Season points, high ranking duels, and previous. WCF's winning team shall not overlap. In the event of duplicate entries to the main tournament, will be carried over and awarded. Further details later. First stage, I see. I see. Will this be the first stage? Second stage, October 26th through October 29th. Uh, November 2nd. 
at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the time to receive ranking reward. Nice. How to advance in the first stage. If you keep winning, your DLV will increase as you suffer more defeats. In duels, your DLV will drop. Those before DLV4 will increase in DLV, even when they lose, except when they surrender. DLV will not drop between DLV 2 to 15, nor will it drop below dual DLV 17 and 20 after reaching them. Once you reach Duelist level max, you can participate in the second stage. Aim to advance to the second stage. How to advance in the second stage. DP is earned by winning duel. Losing results and losing a portion of your DP. Earn tons of DP on Dragon Ball Z and aim for a high rank. Compete with other duelists who have passed through the fierce first stage and aim to be the world's top duelist, much like Seto Kaiba. And because we all know that Yuki Moto's a cheater. <laughs> so there we go. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So that looks like it's it for the Duelist Cup. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll uh, <laughs> take this. All right, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yep, so that's that. So <laughs> just put that timestamp in chat for me. Uh, what else is new? Gym sales, don't need to read that. Here we go, new selection pack. We've got two of them. So, new accessories, uh, hmm, secret packs have been updated too, wow. Let's just read the new selection pack of Flame of Fury. Here we go. The selection pack lineup focuses on cards that are key to the archetype, as well as highly versatile cards. Ashira Rysar, Ivigishki, Nira Menace, Rescue Ace, Turbulence, Princess, Prediction Princess, Tarotia. Wait, oh, would you say Tar... That's tarot, tarot cards, right? That'd be Tarot Wraith. Hmm. And Triple Tactics Thrust. The Flames of Anger for the world. In addition to the fully activated Cash Tira and the additional cards for Gishki and the new Rescue Ace Force are also noteworthy. Very cool. Uh, cards newly included in selection packs will be available for Master Packs. I see. Only available during this specific sales period. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Next pack. The new secret pack available with Desvia theme cards and cards related to Dark World. The new secret pack, the opening act of an apocalypse, is here. Cards like the super rare Aluber, Abuber, Jesper, Jesser of Desvia, and the ultra rare Desvia Quartus. Released in the past, selection packs are now included in secret packs. It's easier to collect cards you're looking for. Also for a limited time, until December 4th, the secret pack will be available for purchase at all times. So don't worry and miss, don't miss out. You get one pack for free. Ah, nice. Good thing I read this. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Recommended cards. A looper the Jester of Despia. Despian Quarantus. Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Yeah, I'll definitely be opening a few secret packs, if nothing else to pick this up. The first Dark Lord and Dark Lord Ixchel. All right, with the awakening of the Brandon, all the great powers were transformed into performers of a tragedy, much like the tragedy of Goku sacrificing his life by teleporting him and Cell away from the planet Earth. Aluber, the Jester of Despia, which sneers at both tragedy and comedy, will step up to the stage colored with love and despair for the opening act of an apocalyptic tale, much like the tale of Frieza taking over Planet Namek. Cards newly included in Secret Packs will be available. Yes, we know this. The first four. Yes. And 50 Wave, the Secret Pack. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on Dragon Ball Z. 
All right, so those are the new announcements. So let's just, uh, yeah, yabba dabba do. Updates done. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun just reading that. Uh, we got some dailies and login. Yeah, we're going to start by just just opening packs, man. I mean, <laughs> why not? And um, if I see, like, a card I was thinking of, we'll discuss it. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for this stream. So let's start over here. I think Flame of Fury has what we're looking for. All right. And we get a free pool here, so... Yeah, why not? Yeah. New secret pack for... Dark uh, Dark Lord and Despia, as they said. So, yeah, <laughs> it's free. Why not open it? Yeah, so here we go. Free pack. See what we get here, guys. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny. There are builds that I want to build with this card right here. <laughs> Dark Lord Nurse Reficule, a.k.a. Nurse Reficule, the Fallen One. Yeah, so, you know, Nurse Burn is pretty fun. And the fact that it's available in this pack at normal rarity is uh, very enticing. Also, uh, <laughs> a lot of builds I want to build with this as well as well for uh, hand looping. So, uh, I believe this is a soft once per turn, so keep that in mind. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So, now let's go to a normal pack. Yep, here we go, and um, here it is, everyone. The new Kashatira Arise Heart. Let's let's just read this card because you know not everybody knows what this card does. Um, yeah, three level sevens once per turn. You can also exceed seven Arise Heart by using one Kashatira monster you control. Yeah, so you can kind of skirt that three. Uh, if an effect of Kashatira Shangri La was successfully activated. Exactly, KCS. Yep. If the effect of uh, Shang Shangri Era was successfully activated this turn, um, yeah, then you can do that. Transfer its materials to this card. Any, this is the key to this. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Yeah, it's a floating uh, macrocosmos banisher of the radiance. Um, whatever you want to say, <laughs> you know. So, only it's got way more better stats than Banisher of the Radiance. And this is also key. Once per chain, you know it's going to be a broken effect when it says that. Yeah, plus a better Dryden. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, you know it's going to be a good effect, KCS, when it says once per chain. Once per chain, each time a card is banished, which that's always going to happen under this card... Attach one banished card to this card as material. Okay, what do you use the materials for? Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach three materials from this card and target a card on the field, banish it face down. You know, I'm surprised that this effect even targets. Uh, there are some cards with targeting protection. Um, so, you know, how often are you going to use the three materials effect? I don't know. Yeah, probably pretty often. <laughs> but uh, this is the key part right here. I mean, yeah, this 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 banish target banish is good, but uh, I'm not gonna say it's not costly because it kind of is. Uh, three materials. You know, most of the time you're only gonna be using one Kashtira monster. So realistically, how many materials is it gonna have? Eh, you know, you can build it up. Uh, but yeah, this is the key part. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Like that that macrocosmos part, uh, it it just it hurts so many strategies that you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. KCS is right. You get more than enough materials to fuel itself anyway. The key part of this is just just how easy it is to summon, and how you guys. I'm sure you guys realize. How many how many decks need the graveyard? Like any just just regular decks. They don't have to be meta or anything. But um, I, I guess Flu doesn't care if you if you banish their stuff. You know Flu Wonderies. I guess they really don't care. But besides that, <laughs> I guess um what else? Uh, Exo Sister. <laughs> or uh, you know you're basically helping Metaphys. I guess <laughs> you want me to watch. 
Sure, Casey. Yes, yeah, sure. Now you might have to tell me how to how to do a replay, but um, I guess Casey S is going to show us how to counter the new uh, Rise Heart. Um, now, how do you watch a replay here? I think I might have to go here. Yeah. All right, Casey S. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, yeah, just let us know your uh, friend code and. Uh... So let's see, where do I add that right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so 247. 247. All right. I was on the right track for the friend code. Um, By the way, what number is the replay? Is it the first one? Uh, 964925. 247 all right so this is kcs um i click here and then there's only oh okay so replay right here and then we go oh there's only one nice okay so let's so this is how you should play against uh cashatera guys um yeah, KCS is going to show us how to counter. I'm going to laugh if KCS lays, just slaps down a Grin Maju. By the way, yeah, with the Rice Heart around, I imagine you'll see a lot more Grin Maju, uh, you know, replays than uh, <laughs> than usual. Um, I'm just saying. Or like Necroface will become, you know, like a mainstay. But I uh, know. Um, wow, my speed is atrocious right now. But uh, anyway, let's watch this replay here. Do 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 do. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's watch this duel by KCS. All right. All right. So D shifter. That's pretty standard. Um, here we go. And they're gonna go for unicorn. Ooh, a royal birth. Ooh, fancy. Uh, they go for ogre to grab prep. They overlay. I'm guessing for Shangri Ira. Uh, there's the new TTT, the Royal <laughs> uh, bringing out Fenrir. You grab that Shifter did nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all good. I mean, you, you never know. You know, uh, you know what I mean. And KCS is clearly playing some Kashatera. Uh, so again, you could have been up against any deck, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. I mean, you're cutting off the graveyard. That's the great thing about D-Shifter is, you know, you're cutting off the graveyard during, um, yeah, when you don't know what you're up against. So, yeah, I mean, I would have fired it. <laughs> I, if it was me, I would have fired it too, bro. So, <laughs> Cash Tier. Now, introducing Cash Tier Civil War in theaters uh, October 29th. <laughs> uh, anyway, they're going to start to try to birth and whatnot. Uh, this is also new, by the way. Yeah, tier elements, cash tier. So, yeah, pretty interesting card. Um, one thing I will say, this card's pretty baller, man. This card's pretty baller. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> unicorn attack. Very interesting. And then you just level up into a rise heart. Zeus. <laughs> 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 yeah, KCS basically just said, okay, what are you going to do about this? Yeah, and, you know, that's kind of why <laughs> they stole my, ah, yeah, payback, payback. And you see right there, okay, all KCS had to do was, yeah, and that's part of why a rise heart is also good. All he had to do is just basically, yeah, meet the conditions for Zeus and... Yeah, just used one, you know, Cashatera monster. There was no negation anywhere. 
and then you just rank up into this and rank up into Zeus, and then what they have one card in hand, what are they gonna do? <laughs> so that's also why a rise heart is good, is because yeah, it's an easy Zeus climb. So as if Kashatira needed even more, you know. But anyway, <laughs> the duel continues. Um getting back Big Bertha. That's pretty good. Big Bertha, Unicorn. Unicorn grab... Ooh, is this a new card? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I see a new card. Kashtirotheosis. Yeah, Zeus can be... So yeah, yeah, exactly. As long as it exceeds battled. So that includes both fields. Yeah, so... Yeah, you just you just fling Unicorn into Shangri era. And there you go. Uh, so this is new. I'll read this. Sure, it's an ultra. Target one Kashtir you control. Special summon a Kashtir monster with a different... All from your deck. Wow. I got to pull this card. I don't think I'll craft it, but that's pretty good. Also for the rest of the turn. Um, yeah, you can only do exceeds, which that's kind of what you want to do on your, yeah, on your main phase two anyway. Yeah, this is basically Kestura e Tell. I see this card's banished, which can happen a lot in the mirror matchup. You can target one of your banished Kashtira cards. Ooh, add it to your... Okay. Yeah, I got to get my hands on this card. This is really good. Uh, and it's just more consistency. So, that's always good. <laughs> um, Pretty good. Oh, by the way, this guy's name is Fool. So, uh, let's just throw that out there. We could do a Goku line. You know, Goku versus Frieza. You fool. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> this card's also pretty good. I haven't really discussed it yet, but uh, yeah, this card's pretty good. So uh, anyway, and there's the scoop. Let's get some uh, fudge, sprinkles, whipped cream. Anybody like whipped cream? <laughs> nice replay by KCS, though. So yeah, if they got a full board, uh, a full cash tier board, yeah, just do what KCS did. Um, make sure you craft like at least one Arise Heart. That way you can just kind of go into their Shangri era. Uh, and Exceeds has battled. So then you go into... Yeah, <laughs> you lost to the God of Thunder. Hell yeah, KCS. Great job, man. Yeah, yeah, just go into their... Um... Yeah, into their Shangri era or some kind of Exceeds in defense. Go into a Rise Heart. Then you go into Zeus. And you just... You send that board to the graveyard. And they are... Be gone with the thunderclap. So nice, nice job, KCS. Because that is, uh, hey, not everybody knows how to deal with a full cash tier board. And, you know, it's just nice to see yeah, a good way to deal with it. So there you go, guys. There you go. So, um, yeah, with that being said, let's just, we've got some gems here. Let's just try to. You have things like, yeah, Econ, Change of Heart. That's true, too. You can use their cash tier monster against them. <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> Arise Heart only needs, you know, one cash tier monster. So I guess, let's say you're playing like a regular deck, like Branded or whatever. Yeah, just use Mind Control or Change of Heart. Like he said, Econ, and then you can do the same, you know. Take their cash tier, fling it into Shangri era, get it into Zeus, go into your regular branded uh, or uh, flu or whatever combos you want. So the main phase two, you know, set up your board. So, all right, let's uh, see how unlucky we are. Uh, should I open a pack of ten? You know, that is um, my luck is just so atrocious when I open ten that I don't think I will. Um, but um. Ooh, I heard this card is pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, the best rescue monster. Rescue Roid, oh yeah, oh yeah, guys. The uh, Roid OTK is coming together. I got that Cyber, Cyber Summon Blaster already, so... Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> no, seriously though, will I open a pack of 10? Um, no, no, my, my luck is just... Like, whenever I open 10... My luck is just really bad. So I'm going to open these individually and we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, I know how my luck is and you know, it is what it is. So opened, Ooh, 14 K gems worth of, wow. 
got 39 ultras, but only five. Yeah, yeah, see, so, yeah, that's kind of, mm, geez, KCS, wow, that's, I feel like you should have gotten at least, out of 39 ultras, <laughs> hey, hey, KCS, you guys remember short prints? <laughs> maybe, maybe they're super short printed. No, but, uh, <laughs> no, that, I'm sorry, KCS, that is just, yeah. you know, that's kind of like my luck. My luck is pretty. By the way, there are some new Gizmek cards. <laughs> oh, man. I, I just love the design of this card. Um, this card's honestly pretty good. Yeah, the hopping hair of Hakuto. Um, now, this card is interesting. Uh, yeah, target a monster on the field. Banish a monster with... Basically, you banish the uh, warrior, Kashitera, from your hand or your graveyard. And if you do, the target a monster gains... 1500 attack. You know, I don't think Kashitira needed a battle trick. But, you know, here you go. Uh, here's the good good part of the effect. If this card's banished and you control a Kashitira monster, you can target an effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects. See, that's the, you know, good part of the effect. So, does the attack boost matter? I guess it can. Yeah, I guess it can. Hmm. Okay. And I guess in the mirror match, um, you got some walking negation, so... Yeah. You won't see m most cash tier decks play this, but I'm going to be playing it. <laughs> so there you go. So, all right. Let's open some more. And, uh, you know, I doubt we'll pull a Rise Heart. Uh, we did get an Ultra, so... I don't know. Uh, it could be anything. Let's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> Shari. Uh, what do we got here? That is Pressured Planet, Ray Sloth. So this is the field spell. Yeah, every deck has a field spell. Um. Anyway, when this is activated, you can add a cash to your monster. So seems like a standard 2023 field spell to me. Monsters you control gain a 100 attack and defense for each different attribute. That's not really going to come up, but okay. Uh, if a Kashira Shangra Era you control activates an effect, you can target a card off. Yeah, see, that's the good part. Is this plays really well with the zone locking. Um, <laughs> and the way it plays even better is because, let's say you're trying to lock the spell in trap zone. Okay, you play the field spell, get whatever. Then you clear the field, you know, the cards in the back row, and then you immediately block it. So... Yeah, pretty good. You can only use this effect of Pressured Planet uh, Wraith Soth once per turn. And you can only activate this card once per turn, so... Yeah, you know, it is a free search. Again, a lot of the cards out of the new pack here, it's all about consistency. So, yeah, I'll play this. Probably only at one, but, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's good that we got that, so there you go. Again, not the ultra rare we wanted, but, you know, it's all right. It's all good. Um, got a super here. So, here we go. Um, <laughs> more Rescue Roid. Uh, there's Rescue Ace. I guess I could talk about Extinguish. So, this is actually pretty good for Rescue Ace. Yeah. If you control a Rescue Ace monster, target an effect monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and then you can, if you can tr control Hydrant, your opponent can activate cards with that original name so this is honestly really good so for the rescue ace deck also ishki ariel it's like the stratos of the archetype so pretty good <laughs> all right there we go there we go and got another super so that's not too bad uh let's see here oh it's at the front here <laughs> ibigishki livio and anima there we go. So we got Scareclaw Crash Tira. So I started to talk about this in the replay by KCS. This is pretty good. No points, 2,700 defense. During the main phase, you can special summon this from your hand. That's pretty good. If you do, banish a Crash Tira or Scareclaw card from your hand or graveyard. So there you go. Um, and you can retrieve your banished Crash Tira stuff. That's never an issue. Uh, yeah, once per turn, this card can attack while in face-up defense, and you apply its defense, so that's interesting. It's got the super heavy samurai effect, 
Um, if your Cachetera or Scareclaw monster battles an opponent's monster, yeah, that monster's effects are negated. So, and again, I think this applies to all of your Cachetera monsters. So that's really good. Yeah, this is like almost a must-have um, for Cachetera. So, at least one. <laughs> also, we got the Dreadnought after we got the Shari, so that's pretty funny. Watch Cat, pretty funny. The free special summon, so there you go. <laughs> All right, open the Scare Claw pack. Uh, let's just keep going, yeah. <laughs> Our luck kind of turned around a little bit. We're finally getting some shinies, so that's good. Um, let's see here, another super rare. A couple Scare Claw cards. Abyss is good, and <laughs> oh, wow, we got two of the field spell. That's okay. I'll play two of the spill spell. Not bad. All right. Not bad at all. So, <laughs> you know, so far we got two ultras, and we haven't even spent a thousand gems yet. That's somewhat lucky. Uh, yeah, two shinies at the end here. Um, oh, Terra Elements catch Terra. Nice. And Maple Maiden. Okay, so I can talk a little bit about this one now. Um, yeah, let's read it. During the main phase, quick effect. You can special summon this from your hand. And if you do, so it's the same as Scareclaw, kind of. Banish a Cashier or Tear card from your hand or graveyard. This is actually really, really easy to do. Since Tear cards meld themselves to the graveyard. So, anyway, if this card is normal or special summon, you can send the top three cards of either player's deck to the grave. That's pretty good in Tear. So, or for a lot of decks, really. Uh, if this card sent to the graveyard by a card effect... So if you mill it in tier with a tier effect, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. So pretty good. Uh, yeah. So there you go. All right. So all right. We'll open up a few more. And I guess I will craft in a rice heart if we don't. Uh, I'll have to dust some ultra rare stuff. But uh, I'll get a doe crawler. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, and here we go, another shiny, good, all right, so far the luck has been pretty good, honestly, <laughs> so, oh, another shiny there, um, <laughs> it is nice to see some of these evil gishkis, rescue ace impulse, pot of the forbidden, wow, three supers out of there, not too bad, this card's really funny, uh, allow me to read the broken effects, it is a level nine flip, but, uh, pot of greed, <laughs> giant true nade <laughs> um Raigeki and forceful sentry so yeah you can only use it once per turn but still pretty interesting card uh yeah monitor's really good um as well as impulse so there you go um all right we'll open up a couple more ooh shiny all right is this gonna be the arise heart uh Based on what KCS told us, I doubt it. But uh, let's see here. Ooh, okay. This card's honestly pretty interesting. So, yeah, you can ritual summon this with Underworld Ritual of Prediction. So that's good for uh, prep. You know, preparation of rites gets you what you need. Yeah, must be ritual summoned or special summoned with Prediction Princess, uh, Tarot Trey. You can only use each effect of Tarot Wraith once per turn. I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can activate one of these effects. Flip any number of face-down monsters you control face up. This is actually really interesting support. Um, for example, a deck that just came out, Ninjas. They love to, you know, flip their monsters up. And there are even key flip effects, you know, during your opponent's turn. You know, like... Um, Geo that can seal off what your opponent's trying to do. Um, now, would ninjas play this? No. But that effect is pretty interesting. Flip any number of face down monsters you control face up. And, and this is a quick effect, so I just want to throw that out there. Um, also, <laughs> when your opponent has like five boards of monsters and nothing else, yeah, 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 yeah. You can abuse like guard dog which stops special summons. You could also, I was getting ready to say KCS, 
You can also flip like Morphing Jar number two, which is pretty hilarious. Um, or, you know, any of the jars, Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar. I'm just throwing that out there. This card has a lot of uh, potential. Um, yeah. Uh, also, flip any number of face-up monsters you control face down. So, yeah, this works really good with the jars. Uh, ninjas. I mean, there's tons of, yeah, like like Casey has said, guard dog. There's tons of good flip monsters that haven't really had a chance to shine because they need the speed. They need the speed to be able to flip up. Um, will this give those decks a chance? That's a better chance than they had before. I will say that. Um, so there you go. Also, this is a flip effect monster itself. And it says flip. You can special summon one flip monster from your deck in face down defense position. So there you go. Uh, if you've got two of these out, you're looking pretty good. You're looking really good. Because then you can use, uh, yeah, Pot of the Forbidden, which we just read. The Forceful Century, your opponent's first turn. And basically, you want to take out their best card out of their hand and, you know, send that branded fusion right into the deck. Or, uh, you know, whatever, fall in the valve bass, whatever. So, pretty good boss, honestly. Pretty good. Um, now, will I be using it? No. <laughs> but <laughs> it opens up some new possibilities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you like gimmicks, yeah, KCS is on the right track. Not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, last pack for us. We did get two of the field spells, so, and we got one of um, the tier elements, one scare claw. So honestly, yeah, pretty good pulls. Um, you know, we didn't get you know rice heart, which <laughs> I didn't think we would with with our luck. But um, we, I did want at least one scare claw and one. Um, of the tier so with that being said let's just go to our tier, our uh i almost said our tier elements deck now let's go to our cash tier deck which is right here and we've got some new cards to add so yeah scareclaw not bad not bad at all um yeah let's just go in here and there we go uh, did I spell it wrong? I probably did. Cash Tira. Okay. Cash Tira. Also, okay. Uh, no, I just had a random thought of a card I might want to craft. Oh, the field test. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's funny. You guys remember how I was just like, oh yeah, I'll probably only play the field spell at one. The field spell is limited. So is the field spell better than I thought? I guess they're trying to stop the consistency. That's the only... <laughs> wow. They limited the field spell from the jump, and we pulled two, two of it. So, okay. You know, if Master Duel is saying the field spell should be at one, maybe I should give the field spell a little more credit. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, I'll, of course, add Scareclaw. Now, what's funny is I don't really have too many tier elements cards. Or cards that send stuff to the graveyard. So, um, oh, we've got a raid as well. I get raid. Field spell is correct, according to KCS. So, hey, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Iga. Uh, welcome, raiders. Yeah, yeah who the? <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, we just opened up some new, of the new cash. Chira pack. Got the field spell. Uh, yeah, we were just kind of discussing. As far as the new Cash Tira cards, you guys going to play them? Screw them. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, we got pretty lucky. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Floodmon14. I am a... Can I say I'm a Yugi tuber Sure. I'm a Yugi tuber I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, old school and new school. And, uh, yeah. Today, we're just... It's an easy day, man. It's chill. We're discussing the new... A rise heart and how amazing it is. You know, any card sent to the grave is banished instead. It's a, that's a pretty baller effect. And uh, yeah, welcome in. Uh, how was your stream, Iga? 
Hopefully you had a good one. And uh, yeah, we're just going to mess around here. I should probably craft this, honestly. Um, sure, I'll add overlap. And what cards will I take out? <laughs> Do I even need Macro Cosmos anymore? Probably not. Uh, this is just a screw it branded, so I'm, I'll keep that one. Um, <laughs> this was in here for the memes, <laughs> so I'll take that out. Um, probably don't need Ascended anymore either. Um, we'll take down one Kaiju, and we'll call it good. So from here, I'll dust some stuff for one a Rice Heart. And then we'll start some duels. Yeah. If I need to dust three ultras. Um, am I really ever going to use this? Probably not. Um, I'm probably never ever going to use this either. If I'm completely honest with myself. Man, I love Assault Mode though. I've got good memories with this card. But you know what? I've got faith. We can pull another one. Sorry, Assault Mode. I love you, buddy, but uh, time to go. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true, KCS. Yeah, <laughs> the field spell's limited, so I guess I can scrap one of this. Do I don't even really need this Time Lord either. Um, it's good, but yeah, <laughs> I don't need that. And then like KCS said, yeah, um, the field spell's limited to one, and we pulled two, so you know what? That's an easy... Dust. Um, yeah. There we go. And see ya. And then we do this. And then we go here. And we've only got one, but that's good enough. So, rise heart. Gimme. Alright, there we go. And do I have Zeus in here? I do not. Alright, there's Zeus. And... <laughs> We're ready to do exactly what KCS showed in the replay. Uh, do I even need Ready Fusion in here? I guess so. You know, it's a level two tuner. That's the only reason this is in here. Two plus eight equals bar on the flow. So, all right, let's cut some sevens. Um, gear out. Um, what else is out? Oh, this is banned now. I see. Well, that's an easy out. All right. I loved using you, Diablosis, but your time has come, my friend. All right. And we've got that. We've got the Grim Magic. <laughs> All right. Let's do some duels, guys. Let's do some duels. All right. Uh, I think we're in low gold. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. And we will duel. All right. Mm -mm. Might as well ask Mind Hacker. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep Mind Hacker. Uh, you never know. You know, Diablosis might become Power Corrupt one day. What's funny about that, KCS, is I'm not joking. KCS for VIP. Uh, you know, KCS is KCS is here a lot. Um, like a, a whole lot. But uh and I appreciate everyone being here. Sword Soul. Hmm. Alright. We don't have the best hand for this, but that's all good. I would expect a Qin Ying. Oh, this is a official. <laughs> Hi Minnie. How's it going? Official Hmm, okay. All right. Do, 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 do. And what's up, KB Gaming? Good to see all of you. Uh, this is indeed a Long Yong. Mo Ye. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll probably just kaiju this. Uh, other than that, not much going on in this duel. <laughs> Um, Chuck Show. 
Another draw for them. Another Sword Soul Monster. And another card. So, standard Sword Soul. Not too bad. Um, thought I'd say hi. I need to go. All right. All right. Uh, best of luck on your classes, uh, Mini. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for saying hi. Have a good day. <laughs> See you next time. All right. Do 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 Taiya Emergence, yeah. Pretty easy. Do 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 <laughs> Protoss. Oh man, it, it's so funny. Uh <laughs> you guys remember how Arch Nemesis Protoss like ruined an official uh it ruined like a YCS or a, it ruined something, man, because like somebody, uh, I'm pretty, was it a world? I don't know. It, I just remember it was a pretty big tournament and <laughs> the guy first turned Protoss and he called like dark or something. And I'm pretty, was it a world championship? I don't know what it was. It was a YCS. It was a YCS. And the guy called Dark or whatever, and literally the opponent couldn't do anything. <laughs> and then it was just like Konami was just like, okay, you know, maybe we should ban Protoss. <laughs> like that, that was incredibly funny. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually watched the, uh, yeah, I watched the stream of that because you know Konami puts out streams now, and yeah, it's just really funny. It took them that long to realize, you know. This Protoss card, yeah, it's kind of good. You know, maybe we should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to call Dark for us, too. And it's just like, yeah, you know, maybe we should ban that card. You know, it's pretty... Uh, pretty oppressive. But uh, uh, anyway, we ain't got much going on here, boys and girls. Uh, what will I do? Well, I'll get credit for special summoning. That's what I'll do. So let's just get rid of... This over here. See ya. Um, got a big moth coming your way. Max C, huh? <laughs> What's funny is I don't even need a special summon. Not this turn. But I will get my... Try to get some dailies in here. One draw for them. And sure, let's set, <laughs> let's set Gale here. All right. And then we'll just uh, take out this, I guess. Yeah, not much going on here. Sword Soul, that was a pretty good first turn for them, honestly. Um, yep, and we'll bluff with Overlap. And there we go. And that's the end of the turn. So, there you go. All right. But uh yeah, they should they should OTK pretty easily from here, honestly, like really easily. <laughs> so <laughs> uh we'll see. Yeah, yeah, because I, I realized like when they uh when they used the effect of Moye that they actually didn't send emergence to the graveyard yet, so Yep. There's Long Yuan. All right, that's a pretty good card. No way for me to stop that. And they should be good, so. All right. Right. Um, but yeah, um, how are you guys' this duels going? Um, are you excited about... What were the other archetypes we had besides Kashira? We had, like, Rescue Ace. <laughs> we had, basically, the Flip Support uh, Ritual archetype. You know, one thing I will say... Um, and I know it was in the new pack. And I already forgot the name of the archetype. But, um... <laughs> to have a Ritual deck... A ritual deck. Now, ritual decks are pretty consistent. I don't want to knock ritual decks because, you know, ritual decks are actually pretty good. 
Uh, you know, like Necros, gin locking people is fun. Uh, this is going to be Psychic and Punisher. Um, but it, one thing I will say is that it's interesting. Yeah, Prediction Princess. Thank you, KCS. Appreciate it. So I'm not even going to... And I haven't read all the Prediction Princess cards. So I can't really say if they're good, bad, or just kind of, you know. Um, one thing I will say... <laughs> Is that to support, yeah, Subterror, Prediction Princess, mixed with Shadals and Crawlers. You know, I guess Subterra, I got makes a good point. The reason they didn't want to support, and Crawlers, and Crawlers, the reason they didn't want, like, because I'm just thinking, you, you know, KCS, that ritual card we read that says, you know, quick effect, you know, flip monsters you want to flip face up or flip them face down. I guess the reason they couldn't just put this on a continuous trap, like let's let's say they made a continuous trap and it was literally called flip or flop. And literally it had the same effect as Yeah, yeah, it had the same effect as Prediction Princess to where you know, and traps are basically a quick effect. To where you could during your opponent's turn, you can flip cards you want face up, you can flip cards you want face down. I guess the reason they didn't want to just do that is because, yeah, Subterror... <laughs> okay, Guru Control is already good enough as it is. Um, yeah. Okay. But did they really need to make them jump through hoops to Ritual Summon? No. <laughs> you know, that was, that, that was a bit of a step too far. Um... I mean, ritual decks are consistent, though. I mean, because I read the card, and the good part is you can use, like, pre-preparation of rights. Um, yeah, it's just, man, like, I want to love ritual decks. Ooh, this would have been nice. Ooh, that would have been nice the last turn. Um, one thing I will do here is do this. <clears throat> That would have been nice. <laughs> that two maxi. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll do this. To, uh, what's your original attack? Hmm. Not bad. Um, there we go. But, uh, yeah, they could have also just printed some kind of spell or something that says... You know, the same thing as the Prediction Ritual Monster. Prediction Princess Ritual. Um, I guess they thought that would have been too uh, broken as well. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Like, flip monsters are in a really weird place. Because, in general, um, the flip decks out there, like I got mentioned, like, you know, Crawlers, like, Subterrors. They already have, like, in-archetype support to make um, flip decks faster. So, the biggest problem with a ritual, and maybe they have, like, an in-archetype, like, um, maybe they have advanced ritual art. You know, but it's just, like, in-archetype, you know? Because I haven't looked at all the cards, so I can't really say if they're good or not. <laughs> But if they do have a card like that, that, you know, lets you ritual summon with stuff from the deck, I guess that is pretty good. But the fact is, is like, you know, flip cards themselves are slow enough as it is. And, you know, I've played plenty of ritual decks in the class, like, you know, Necros and like all of them, really. And yeah, Incantation. Yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to talk about Incantation, like. Now, I guess that does speed it up. But, I mean... The problem is, Incantation's easy to break, too. Like... It just is, man. <laughs> it just is. Like, I mean, what do you need? One interrupted Kaiju Slumber? And then... I hope they got Negation. You know? <laughs> like, I haven't read all the Prediction Princess cards. But, um... I hope to God... <laughs> they got... Not only Negation... They need, like, an Omni Negate that also flips their monsters face up. <laughs> <laughs>
like, like, because if you don't have that, if you don't have an Omni in the gate that they'll flip your monsters face up and face down, um, <laughs> you know, you're just not going to make it. You're not, you know, the speed, the raw speed of, I don't know, branded flu, um, cash Tira, um, what else is at the top? I don't know. I'd say the raw speed of cyber dragons is in fact too much for prediction princess. Yeah, I might be wrong. We only read like one card. Yeah, going first, you can make the opponent lose two cards. Yeah, that's fine. And that's good. I guess that is like really threatening, but you know, most decks can beat you with just two cards in hand. <laughs> like, like, like KCS, them's the, them's the raw facts. <laughs> like most decks these days, if you have only two cards in hand, any two cards, they can beat you. And you know, it's sad and it's, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on Prediction Princess. You know, maybe Prediction Princess, you know, like KCS said, maybe they'll become the new meta. Maybe, maybe I'm, you know, there always is the possibility that I'm wrong. You know, and, you know, they'll become meta and they'll defeat Branded and they'll defeat <laughs> Cash Tier. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't even say this with a straight face. And, you know, I, you know, I always consider the possibility that my opinions could be wrong. And that, you know, Prediction Princess is, <laughs> they're, they're the best deck. You know what? That's, it's a realistic possibility. And, <laughs> and Ritual Mechanics will become the best mechanic <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry no but uh you know hand looping is good i i don't want to take that away I, I i i'm serious about that one hand looping is good hand looping is very good i just don't think it's good enough you know i i i don't i don't i don't um yeah, that's the problem, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and anyway, we are up against, is this a bot? I don't see any extra deck. I'm going to assume it's a bot until we see otherwise. Um, and since this is a bot, I guess I'll grab Ogre. I think there's a way to make your opponent lose three cards. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, no. Um, you know, uh, KCS, I have a question for you, though. There is another hand loop deck that recently got support in Master Duel. And, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys ever hear of Dark Worlds? You know, if you like hand looping, okay, and you... What in the world? Oh, sorry. If you like hand looping, right, and, you know, hand looping is your favorite thing, I would advise you highly to Google the card Cerule of Dark World. And, oh, did they really KCS? Okay, okay, okay. My bad. Um. Okay. What other hand loop engines are better? This hand loop engine. You know, you Trishula, Desynchro, Trishula again. Yeah, and I've seen some Trishula hand loop boards that can hand loop for five. So, you know, I'm just saying, KCS, um, Trishula's legal. Trishula's, you know, you can also get stuff out the grave. I'm just saying, it's easier. You know, Synchro Climbing... KCS, you know exactly where I'm going. Okay, which is easier, Synchro Climbing or Ritual Summoning? You know, let's just throw that. Let's put all the marbles on the table. <laughs> let's be realistic. I want to give Prediction Princess a chance. I really do. I like their design. I like the idea. 
which is easier, desynchroing and, you know, you know, and of course the synchro climb, right? First you go into the best level five, which I can't believe is unbanned. Uh, TG Hyper Librarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, how is that card still legal, chat? Like, seriously. Like, I'm, I'm going to be serious. I'm going to be real for a moment. How is TG Hyper Librarian? <laughs> how is that card still legal? I mean, I guess you could imperm it or whatever, but, you know, the amount of OTKs I've seen with TG Hyper Librarian, it's just unbelievable. It's, you know, it's unbelievable. It's just, it's disgusting almost. It's, it's almost boring. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Like, you know, synchro climbing with Trish and just, you know, it's just so easy. It's incredibly easy. Um, right. Pot of Forbidden. Oh, the rank X seeds nine. Yeah, like that one's uh, the... Uh, I know the name of that one. Um, turn two, Pot of Forbidden again. Okay, okay. You know, that's... That's good. Also, let's just throw this out there, KCS. Let's throw this out there. Okay, your deck is hand loop, right? And again, you have two options. Dark World, which can play good on turn one or turn two. Let's say you go second. <laughs> your opponent, if you go second, you know what I mean? See, KCS knows where I'm going with this already. And so does probably the rest of chat. Let's say your strategy is hand loop. Okay, good strategy. Let's say you don't go wrong. I know KCS, I know part of... And, you know, that's great. Um, here's the problem. <laughs> um, most decks... Yeah, yeah, just always... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no, KCS knows exactly where I'm going. Okay, your average Yu-Gi-Oh! deck chat is going to set up how many negates turn one? At least four. Maybe three. You know. Yeah, it just is. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, if your strategy is hand loop, they're only going to end with, like, one card in hand. You know, unless they're um, at Ignister, in which case they'll end with six cards in hand. So, <laughs> but you, you, you see what I mean, KCS? It's just like, yeah, you know. I don't know, you know. I'm just not so sure that you know what i played dark ruler well yeah yeah of course you know that's gonna be that's gonna be yeah dark ruler yeah maxi okay you know maybe that's good enough i don't know you know but um <laughs> i don't know i'll tell you what kcs i'll give him a chance because um you said you pulled more Prediction Princess than anything, right? So, the odds are we're going to keep buying the new pack. You know what? Once we get enough cards... I'll tell you what, chat. Once we get enough cards for um, Prediction Princess, which we will, you know, because we're going to try to get, obviously, two Arise Heart and, um, you know, whatnot. Once we get enough cards for Prediction Princess, I promise... I will build a Prediction Princess deck. A full deck. <laughs> and we'll see... How consistently... I can hand loop. Because I've got a feeling... that, And not to mention... Don't get me wrong. I know pre-preparation is good and stuff. This card right here... Is just so annoying... And yeah, I know called by is a thing and cross out designator, but <laughs> the amount of times that this card right here is going to stop our pre-preparation of rights. I'm telling you right now. No, no, no. I, I promise. I promise, chat. I will build a prediction princess deck just so, you know, we can justify that they're not good enough, you know. Um, maybe I'll wait till like 
everything's de-ranked. And then we uh, reset to, uh, let's see if they can make it past gold, you know. You know, I'm not even sure. With me as the pilot, I'm not sure they can make it past gold. Uh, ooh, this gets rid of an extra deck. All right, chat. I'm going to let you choose what we get rid of here. This is heroes, obviously. What do we get rid of, chat? There's Dark Claw. There's... This is probably a good pick. Um, there's Trinity. What do we get rid of, chat? You guys pick. There's also this. You know, I probably should hit this, you know. They'll probably get another effect monster. What do you think, chat? Anaconda, Dark Law, Sunrise. What should we hit here? I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. Uh, we could just straight up hit DPE. That's, uh... <laughs> um... We've got options here. Hmm. This is also a good hit. Um, let's see here. What should we hit? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think Anaconda is probably the best hit. Do 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 do. Let's see here. <clears> hmm. <throat> I guess maybe it is Sunrise. Because it gets Miracle Fusion, right? Hmm. No, you know what? I'm hitting Anaconda. I'm hitting Anaconda here. Yep, I'm picking Anaconda. They've only got one, so get rid of that. Uh, right, zone blocking. Um, <laughs> I guess let's start on this. Mm hmm. Special summon this card. So there goes increase. All right. Vision hero. Right. So let's take a look at their hand. Uh, one thing we do know is they don't have super poly. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh. <laughs> wow. Let's see here. Hmm. Well, I think this is the pick. Um. Yeah. See you, Fusion Destiny. <laughs> Man, you guys can really tell I don't like DPE, huh? <laughs> there you go. All right. Another zone to block. All right, and with Vion, they can send Mally, I'm guessing, to the graveyard. That's the normal pick. Uh, that's a good one, too. Hmm, Miracle Fusion and Polly. They can do a lot with that, honestly. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mally's already in the graveyard. That's why. All right. Mm-hmm. Extra Polly. Polly won a cracker. Really, Josh? That's the that's the joke we're going with here. All right. There's Cross Crusader. Not too bad. So there's Denier. Mm hmm.
Hmm. Stratos. Pretty good. All right. Yeah, because we asked Rhoda earlier. I imagine with Stratos, they'll take whatever they were wanting to Rhoda for there. Ah, uh, maybe they will come after preparations. I don't know. That's their call, really. Um. Hmm. Do 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 do. Here. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Fair play. Not too bad. Denier. Do, 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 do. I think we're about good. Alright. Well, I imagine Sunrise will be coming out. But they could also Trinity from here if they just really want to. Uh, and Trinity wouldn't be too bad. But they could also just zero and then uh, go from there. DPE. Alright. So there's that. Wonder Driver. Miracle into... They got options from here. Alright. Sunrise. That makes sense. Miracle into Sunrise. Grab back Miracle. Okay. Miracle again. I see, I see. Working with the stat boots. That's honestly pretty smart. Uh, miracle again. Boss time. <laughs> Man, hero decks are so, so fun, bro. Look at that. There's wake up your elemental hero. So, pretty good. So, there you go. And this should be over. Not too bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, DPE to destroy that. And this can attack uh, five times, I'm pretty sure. So, there you go. We will block. Block A. Destroy that one. Do, 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 <laughs> Not bad. <clears throat> so we'll ogre. Detach. Alright. Hmm. Wait, what? Card can make a number of attacks on monsters. Wait, why didn't he keep attacking? I'm sorry, what? Well, somehow we made it through that turn. Alright, Shangri Ira. Let's grab a, uh, we need something that grabs birth, right? So, unicorn. I see no negation on this board. Uh, okay. All right, DPE is coming back. I should have known that. Um, is it going to shotgun DPE? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, he is. Wow. Not too bad. What will you go after, amigo? Mark. Very good. Okay. So there's DPE. Miracle Fusion's back down. Wow. Um. What do we do from here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot we even pulled this card. Um. All right. <laughs> We could just do that. Um, yeah, I forget. We have options now. Does this have any other effects? 
Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
Uh, I think Honest Neos is the stat boosting one. Pretty sure. Ooh. Wow. Just out of Gore's range, chat. Man, we were so close to greatness right there. That was actually really close. But, um, more add by them. That's easy math, you know. 25 and 18? GG. Not too bad. Do 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 do. Uh, what are they waiting on? What? All you gotta do is attack, amigo. I don't see what the holdup is. <clears throat> Not too bad by hero, though. Um, I guess hindsight, I should have just hit DPE, which hits both Anaconda and DPE. But then again, Anaconda could also do other stuff. That's the reason I hit that, because it can do regular poly, super poly. <laughs> it can do a lot, so. I don't know what the holdup is here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just like, man, what are they doing? I don't know. But, uh. Nice. Stolen by the hero player there. Yeah, we got lucky with Birth. They got lucky with Stratos. Yeah, pretty good duel. All right. Let's see where we're at on Daily's chat. Three done. Oh, and we got some new ones too. Nice. All right, so we won a duel. Five specials. Let's see here. All right. Um, so we just need one spell, a normal, two destroys, and a trap card. I guess I could switch to a link deck, but no. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Um, do this as well. Do 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 Let's do that. And let's do this. Yeah, we do have quite a few people here. So, 7, 4, 6, 7, nine, 8, 9. Seven, seven, uh, 7, 4, 6, 8, 9. All right. So if you guys are interested in viewer duels, that's the room ID. And we're going to start a few of those um, here in a little bit. So there you go. And there you go. All right. Now I'll update the title there. All right. So yeah, if you guys want to do viewer duels, just uh, let me know. And I'll meet you there. So, there we go. Four, six, seven, eight, and man a stream. We'll go here and the here, and I'll, I'll update it in the title too. Here, so pretty easy. Hmm, I might grab a snack here soon, too. In fact, I'm gonna grab one right now. One sec. Very good. All right. Okay.
Okay. I got to I figured something was going on there. Um, let me make sure I do. Okay. There we go. And yeah, before we reboot, actually, <laughs> our luck wasn't too bad on opening the packs. So before I reboot, let's open some more here. <clears throat> And I'll probably be opening up this exclusively, you know, much like you guys. So, but yeah, I hope you guys have good luck in the new packs or good luck uh, just in general. Uh, Ultra right there. Not too bad. Oh, you got here. Gishki Vision. That's not bad. And Turbulence. Yeah, this card is honestly pretty good. Yeah. You can banish two rescue aces from your grave. Special summon it. So it's kind of like a BLS. Uh, yeah. During your main phase. <laughs> This is the key part. <laughs> this card's so good. During your main phase, you can set up to four rescue ace, quick play, spells, or normal traps with different names. Yeah, that's insane, bro. Um, if another card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, can target a card on the field, destroy it. So yeah, this is like definitely the boss or a boss of the archetype. And it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> you said basically... It's not even a painful choice because you get these cards on the field. This basically turns your entire deck on. So, really good card. Really good, really fun card, too. So, there you go. There's Rescue Ace Turbulence, man. Fantastic card. I love the Rescue Ace archetype. Um, it'll take some time for us to fully build one. Another Ultra. Well, that's lucky. Yeah, that's why I prefer singles. Uh, I just, my luck just seems to be better. For whatever reason, but uh, anyway, what we've got here. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. Oh man, thank you, Master Duel. Whew. Okay, okay, guys, we just saved thirty craft material. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you know, and you know, I thought about rebooting before buying the packs, but I, I saw the three hundred. I was like, you know what? Our luck was pretty good earlier. Let's just buy a few more and... Ooh, another Ultra. Okay. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, okay. Evagishki Neramanus. So, not bad. Um, Yeah, it can't be destroyed in battle with a monster, especially someone from the extra deck. That effect's going to come up a lot. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can return a Gishki Ritual Monster you control... Oof, that's a rough activation cost. But yeah, if you do negate it and yeah, I mean that is rough because now if it said a, a Gishki ritual monster from like your hand, eh, I can understand that. Or just like you reveal a ritual in your hand. Man, that cost is rough, man. Just for a simple monster negation, return a Gishki ritual monster you control, aka on the field. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know about this one, man. I don't know. It, it's it's I right. it's I right, you know it's I right. but uh, heck yeah, ambulance rescue droid. Heck yeah, the OTK is coming, guys. The cyber summon blaster. All right, yeah, another overlaps. All right, so all right, <laughs> hell yeah, though we got another arise heart. That's actually really key. So that's really good. Uh, sure. 
I'll edit the deck before we reset. Hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, deck my friend. Right here. All right. <laughs> Definitely glad I decided to open those. That was... That's pretty lucky, I must admit. So we've only opened like 14 of these packs, and we've gotten one Arise Heart. So that's pretty lucky, you know? So, all right. What will I get rid of? Eh, probably Flare. Ah, do I need two BLS? No, but I like two BLS, but it's fine. <laughs> there we go. All right. And we will... Now we'll reboot. Thanks, Master Duel. Man, that was... <laughs> I'm going to have to clip that one for sure for YouTube. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know? Sometimes you just got good luck. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah. Save myself that craft material. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's go over here. Um. Oh. Yeah. Need to check on that too. All right. And all right, do, 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 do. uh, room ID. Let's see here. I put it in chat myself, so seven four six. Seven four six seven eight nine. All right, there we go. Got the title updated there. So there we go. So if you guys want a viewer duel, just uh, holla at your boy. I, I just feels wrong. A am I allowed to say that? I, I guess I am. But uh, yeah, holla at your boy. What? No. <laughs> but yeah, I guess if you guys do want a duel, I just. <laughs> I'll at your boy, I guess. Uh, for now, I'll continue back to ranked. So there we go. All right. All right. Oh, also, how long have I been streaming? That is important. And what time is it? It is... 1.56. All right. And mm, not bad. Not even two hours yet. Feels, it feels like I just started streaming, too. So, All right. All right. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. All right. <laughs> for those of you who are wondering what the TV remote's for, so I'm a big fan of a uh, crime drama, like a really big fan. <laughs> and of all shows, you probably wouldn't believe what shows over there on the TV right now. With the closed captioning on. Yeah, uh, Dateline. <laughs> you know, hashtag not sponsored. But uh, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know. Is it my favorite cr crime drama? No. No, definitely not. But, uh, yeah, lately, you know, i just kind of been, when I'm about to go to sleep at night, Dateline, you know. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> And it's it's uh, it's staggering, really, the number of uh, crime dramas that are on 
TV these days. I'm, there's a lot better ones. But uh, yeah, this one's just convenient. Just goes right on the TV and you know, go from there. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's see what kind of... Uh... Explodia. It's not possible. Utopia? Hmm. Mystic walk. I guess we'll look at their deck after this dual check. <laughs> Mystic Walk. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, there's Utopia. You know, there is a Destruction Potion OTK, so... All right. Maybe this is some kind of OTK. I guess we're about to find out, chat. Ray. Okay. And then the Brain Cup. Okay. I'm with you so far. Dragonair. It is Dragonair. And for the OTK run. All right. Yeah, OTK. Here we go, guys. OTK. Tat. All right. GG. And, and um, please destruct potion. All right. Uh, let's draw here. It's going to matter here. Mystic Walk. Hey, that's not an OTK. Huh. Oh, and then, okay, okay. So they shout out. I forget what number this is. Manipulator of Souls, right? Okay. <laughs> you gain LP. Your opponent loses the same amount. Not bad. There it is, guys. Utopia OTK. Not bad. All right. Well, there you go. Let's see. And for the deck, if you guys are interested in the uh, Manipulator of Souls OTK, pretty easy, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Destruct Potion. But that can miss timing, so a lot of these OTKs have switched actually to Mystic Walk, which is far superior, yeah. There you go. And yep. Um, once per turn, when you gain life points, you can make this card gain an equal amount of attack, also inflict that much damage to your opponent. This card still face up, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hope you have the imperm. <laughs> you don't have imperm? That's an OTK. All right. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Would have been good going first. Summon limit. Tempest. Mm, well. All right. Ice cream time. Yeah. Let's see what deck uh, Chaos was running here. All right. There you go. And. <laughs> Let's see here. Chaos. Oh. Ooh, Labyrinth could... Or they just, like, disconnected. Huh. Well, I'll say. <laughs> Who knew Labyrinth could brick? Not me, that's for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. 
All right, chat. We're going to scoop right here. But I am interested to see their Kashira build. Let's see. Let's take a look. What is their Kashatira build? Let's see here. Match history? We'll give them that one. Um. Ah. Huh. I got some punk stuff in there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So just two Rice Heart, two Fenrir, three Unicorn, one Scare Claw. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this deck's insane. Whoa, I haven't seen this card. Kashatira Big Kashatira Big Bang. If a Kashatira exceeds monsters on the field, and a player controls two or more monsters, they must banish monsters they control. Oh. Wow, this card's really good. I should craft this card. Well, it does say exceed the monster. Okay. If this card is banished, you can target a Kashatira exceeds monster to your hand. Then you can special. That is good. I should craft this card right now. Wow. And Theosis. Right, 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 right. Yeah, Theosis is pretty good. I should craft this. That is really good. And the extra deck. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, standard stuff. Two Rice Heart. <laughs> Royal Lancelot. Hell yeah. Alright. And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should crash, craft that. Cash, cash Tira Big Bang. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice thing about that is we can bring back Ogre over here. And it's no longer impermed, so we can get preparations. Yep. The work around. <laughs> and we can set preparations over here, yeah. Very in though. Mhm. Mm All right, preparations here.
Mm-hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Done, Wolf. All right, here comes the boss. This is, uh, yeah, Turbulence. We were just talking about this about uh, 30 minutes ago. This is going to get real nasty. Up to four rescue ace quick play or normal traps. So, really good. So. Mm-hmm. All right. They take back impulse there. There you go. So yeah, if you don't if you don't stop this, it gets really disgusting. So. Mhm. Mm there you go. Plus four from the deck chat. There you go. So yeah, that's why this card's good. That's why I'm, I'm we pulled this honestly, because I want to be able to do some of the same combos with Rescue Ace. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Yep, yeah. I think if Rescue Ace had come out in any other set besides uh, the Arise Heart set, <laughs> they'd be in a really good spot. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm All right. All righty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, now they should have a Rescue Ace Trap to pop birth here. Oh, no, oh, not yet, I guess. Maybe they'll come after Ogre instead. It is nice to see this card go, though. So, mm-hmm. Well, yeah, this card's so good. Plus four from the deck. It's amazing to see that. All right. Mm hmm. And I guess we'll ogre right here. They should play another um, rescue ace trap here in a little bit. <laughs> oh man, it's so it's so nice seeing the uh, blaster back as well. That's honestly really good. Alright. And now we will play um, Rice Heart here. From the hand. No response. So let's play Rice Heart right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, try to use the effect here. Let's see. Let's banish um... <laughs> Uh, Fenrir, actually. Mm -hmm. Response. Nice. Yeah. Uh, contain. Yeah, this is actually a really good trap card. So, negates effects. Pretty good. There you go. I think I am still locked, actually. Uh, oh, right. We can 
get rid of the last card in hand, I guess. Um, they may chain it as well. But yeah, this card's so good, man. Turbulence is really good. So, all right. Now, because they negate it, I'm not sure if I'm locked or not, but um, I'm going to try to BLS here, but I think I'm locked. I am locked, indeed. So, okay. Um, hmm. Well, anyway, let's just, uh, yeah. We just attack. Um, now, obviously, this isn't going to work against Turbulence, but... Um, Hmm. Ah, I see. So what you have to do is you have to take out Turbulence, I think. No? Hmm. I guess I'll try to take out Wolf here. See what happens here. Okay. Okay. Just fine. And then we try to take out... <laughs> yeah, Turbulence. But they've got ways to revive it because they set um, quite a number of Rescue Ace cards. So... Uh, that's also pretty good. Reinforce, yeah. Really good. Alright, so there you go. And that's it. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, reinforce. Unaffected by monster effects. The next time it would be destroyed in battle, not destroyed. That's so nice. All right, well, with preparation, we'll take uh, Finbrier, of course. Not too bad by Heroic here, though. And then they can use the effect again. You know, the during your main phase, set a bunch of rescue cards. So, pretty good by them, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just such a nice strategy here. So. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep, target a rescue ace spell, set it. Alright. With this, we should be able to fin rear. Get this off the board. Preparation. Oh, okay, so whatever card they drew for turn is gone. So that's nice. Response. Response, heroic. Response. Responsible. All right. Oh, impulse. Oh man. Yeah. Glad to see that go. All right. And they are going to use the effect. Interesting. And they will use. Mm hmm. Hydrant. Yeah, hydrant's really good. Really good. So there goes that, and there comes back Impulse, and they are going to set these two. Uh, yeah, and with that we will activate Earth in rear. Uh, let's banish this, this, and this. All right, and we'll also chain Finrear, and then we'll chain Block with Ogre. Uh, ogre, there we go. All right, not too bad. Response maybe they have vanity's call down there. <laughs> you never know, you never know. Mm hmm, not bad. Yep, so they just add another Turbulence. Pretty smart. Um, yeah. We'll excavate. Ooh, Duster. Yeah, I'll definitely get rid of that. Pretty good card for them. Um, not anymore. Yeah, that's that card's gone. So. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Air lifter, nice, nice. Mm -hmm.
Well, there's airlifter. Mmm. There's the field spell. So that's really good. Really good for them. Oh yeah, this gives uh, rescue aces an extra normal summon. As well as... Mmm. Yeah, recycling. So it literally lets you rescue your aces and then draw a card. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So there you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't know why they're negating Ogre. I've already used both of its effects, but uh, you do you, Holmes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. If they're smart, they'll pop birth here. Oh, that's interesting, because I've already searched for another preparation, so that's an interesting choice. Um Yeah. Hmm. Turbulence. Mm-hmm. I guess I could go into a rank nine. Not a lot of them out there, but um Okay, they'll probably go for a unicorn. With no cards in hand. Yeah, you know. You don't really have to be afraid of anything because yeah, there's no cards in hand, so access code I imagine would be their next move. Um <laughs> Uh, let's just do this now. So I will meet Meteor them. So, there we go. And they can have a big fat token. <laughs> Maybe a root. And there you go, buddy. There you go, heroic. Nice big token for you, amigo. All right. So we survived the turn. All right, from here, we just do normal cash sheer <laughs> Wow, that's pretty lucky. Um, all right, well, with birth, what shall I take? They may respond with a rescue ace card here. Um, I think Fenrir would be pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. So with this, we can add, like, Unicorn or whatever. Um... Unicorn? <laughs> oh, man. And with Birth, you can just extra summon a seven. Yeah. With Unicorn, you can take a uh, monster. Or a spell, I'm sorry. So we'll take Big Bertha. Yeah, what's nice is uh, Unicorn can grab the new spells. Ooh, I could also take this. And, you know, Riceheart is in the graveyard, so... Sure. We, we've already got Birth, so... Alright, alright. Um, Let's set prep before I forget. Uh, should I play Monster Reborn? <laughs> should I play? What kind of question is that? Um, yeah, um, that's interesting. Um, wow. Um, uh, um, I've got options here. I've literally got to think. Uh, let's grab. Yes. Uh, let's just grab Ogre. Let's just grab <laughs> That makes life easier on me. Um, I don't really have to think. Something I'd probably normally grab anyway. Unicorn's tempting. It's tempting, but... um. Wow, yeah. 
But it's when it's Link Summon. It's when it's Link Summon. Yeah, so. Yeah, Ogre's the pick. Um, okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That is quite fair. Um, yeah, I guess, I. you know, I was thinking about their Unicorn, too. I guess I should have grabbed it, but... Uh, eh? Honestly, it makes me feel a little safer. I was worried about an Infirm when I attack with Fenrir here. Um... So, I was definitely going for game there. I guess we'll birth and take out some banished stuff. We'll take out that, that, and that. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So, we got the birth activation. That's good. They can't, you know, reborn their own links, which is kind of concerning, honestly. Wow, and I have Pot of Acquisitiveness live out of all cards in my deck. Um, Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's use this. Why not? <laughs> How often is this card clutch? Almost never, but uh, yeah. Let's return everything to the deck and draw a card. Because they can do the same anyway with uh, Headquarters. So I might as well get my card draw. And, <laughs> you know, that's a good insurance policy to have. Now this can get rid of a face-up card. Okay, so it should be able to get rid of a token. Um... So let's just hope there's no Imperm here because that would be bad. Yeah, Fenrir. Uh, oh, I can't get rid of it? It's a token. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Dude, what? Well, we just lost chat. Um... <laughs> Whoops. Okay, guys. I know how that's ruled now. Um... <laughs> I thought Fenrir could get rid of it. Oh, that's awful, man. That's awful. And I drew the out, too. I drew some slumber, so... Whoops. I'm pretty sure we're dead, chat. Oh, we're not. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, well, we barely survived that. Um, I think I took the spell. All right, so we'll take... Um, man, that sucks. All right, we'll take Shangri Ira. Wow, <laughs> almost fumbled that dual chat. Well, if they have anything with piercing, they win. So, yeah, that's bad. I can't believe that just happened. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, chat. Calm down. <laughs> Note to self: self Finn Rear cannot take out tokens. Wow, that is a uh, hilarious by the way. Holy smokes. Man, that was bad. Okay, so with activate preparations. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take Rice Heart. Sure. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I learned that the hard way. Okay, so we'll take Era. And we can't destroy the token, so I guess I'll go after some extra deck stuff, I guess. And we'll grab Unicorn. Wow. I learned that the hard way. Um, airlifter. This negates, right? Pretty sure it does. Mm, it does not. Okay. Well, let's just grab um, good old Unicorn. Okay. Defense mode. Obviously. <laughs> I guess I'll have to slumber on my own board. Kind of awkward, but yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And the good part is that I'll get to get something out the extra deck here. Oh, wait. We can prep after this, right? No, it has to be a trap card. Okay. Okay. Can't believe I just did that, man. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Oh, man, I just attacked in there with, uh, yeah, with Fenrir, like, you know, like it's another day at the park. Uh, yeah, Unicorn, sure. Uh, I, <laughs> okay. Um, Anima is also pretty dangerous here. A face-up monster this card points to. Uh, so Anima would normally go here, but right now it's pointing to nothing. I guess Heat Leo's also dangerous. Access code? 
Okay, yeah, we can get rid of that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of a good old access code. See ya. Nice knowing you, buddy. Uh, Shingra Era. Let's start blocking some zones. Oh, man, I can't believe I almost did that. Ugh, man, that was bad. All right. Good job, Unicorn. All right. So there's Airlifter. You know, in hindsight, I'm pretty sure I saw the... Hmm. No, it's okay. This is okay. Anima. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anima doesn't point to anything. So... I guess they did that just for the link. I don't know why they did that. Right, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, I did see he eats a... So I probably should have gotten rid of this. And why they didn't use the reborn effect, I do not know. But um, anyway, there goes the rock, Johnson. And this should target what? Rice Heart? That's a good target. Yeah. Interesting, they left me with Unicorn. Ah, I see. Yeah. Now that makes sense. Okay. All right. Yeah, this duel has reached an interesting juncture. How do I get rid of my own token here? <laughs> hmm. Eat Leo. All right, yeah. Maybe I should have gotten rid of that. I don't know. Uh, either way. I think we have outs, chat. We have outs. We have outs. So, draw. Nice. Good card. Yeah, we have outs because, first of all, this is still live. Okay, so we just grab. Add a cast your monster. I definitely want that. Thank you. We've got outs. Mm hmm. Okay, so here we go. Uh, main one. Main one. Let's just take this nice and easy chat. Finn Rear, we grab Ogre, you know. Just another day at the beach. All right. We grab this. We grab Big Bertha, you know. It's just easy gaming chat. We just grab Bertha like too easy all right then we activate birth you know we've got a bunch of stuff in the graveyard you know uh we actually only have one in the grave but you know we activate this is hand right yeah we activate prep you know we just kind of play ogre yeah it's times like this i'm really glad we left draco sec there we go ogre Right. We just switch this to attack mode. We grab prep. You know, it's just another day at the beach here. We grab the last prep and deck. All right. We overlay again. We go for. I could go for a rise heart. Um. I actually could with all three materials. Wow. Um, yeah, let's just grab. I could go BLS. Sure, that's an option. I could do Boral Sword. That's some style. That is some style. Um, wow. Um, let's just do a little more style. Let's get Saki. So I'll overlay these two. And let's summon my favorite Exeeds monster of all time. Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, baby. It's time to get Saki. All right. There we go. And then let's do this. Yep, summon tokens. So I'll get rid of Ogre. All right. Response. No response. Token one. 
Token 2. I guess I have to watch out for the timer here, so I should click as fast as possible. Uh, let's change this to off. Let's get rid of my own huge token. All right, so we destroy this. There we go. We birth for ogre. Yeah, this is pretty much ogre now. All right, and we attack. Uh, any hidden effects? Uh, 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 uh. Doesn't look like it. All right, unicorn, get in there. Uh, yeah. Sure, I'll use the effects. Um, let's get rid of Zeus, because that would be a real problem right now. All right, see ya, Zeus. And we will block a zone. And we'll block this zone. And... Response. No response. All right. Let's ogre. Yeah. We do this. And we'll look at five. Uno. Those. Oh, yeah. Hydrant's gone. Hydrant is gone. I guess Div Incarnate's also pretty good. But, uh, ah, sure. We'll get rid of Div Incarnate. Hydrant is pretty good. Let's block another zone. Let's block this zone. Because <laughs> why not? All right. And nope. All right, main phase two. Let's just set a card and pass. I could have went into a rise hard there, but you know, timer. So, uh, yeah, all they need is two hundred damage. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, era, yeah. I'll take another Kashtira name. I will grab. Ah. Uh, sure. <laughs> Scareclaw and Defense. Sure. Sure. All right. There we go. New monster summoned. All right. Let's see what they do here. Main one. All right. What you got, Heroic? There is Hydrant. So, I will called by the other hydrant that's in their grave. <laughs> or try to. Yeah, it's right here. There we go. Bye-bye, hydrant. Sorry. But your fire's being put out. I activate called by the grave. So, yeah. Ooh, wait. Do they still have anima? No, they got rid of anima. Link Kribo? Okay, okay. Hey, much respect, Heroic. Much respect. Yeah, it's a shame they Link climbed through Anima earlier. That's uh, That could have won them the game, believe it or not. Because they could have taken Ogre, and then it would have been all Ogre for us. All right, let's activate my favorite monster's effect, Draco Sack. My favorite Exceeds monster. See ya, Token. See ya, Link Karibo. And, yep. Yeah. From here, we just, uh, should I BM chat? Nah, let's just, let's, let's just get in here. Yeah, let's just call it a duel. Um, yeah, sh okay, sure, all unicorn. Uh, let's get rid of this card, because why not? And we'll block another zone. Just to say, hey, we blocked all the monster zones or whatever. Yay! We did it, chat. We're gaming. All right. <laughs> all right. And we ogre. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll just do it just for the uh, the personal, you know, achievement. You know, just to say, like, hey, we blocked all the zones, chat. All the monster zones. This will be a first for us as far as Cachetero. And just saying, like, hey, we blocked all the monster card zones. Yeah, let's get rid of Lava Golem. Yeah, and then we will block another zone. And achievement con success. Yeah, because we blocked all the spell and trap zones in the past. But now we can successfully say, hey, we clogged all the monster zones. Steam achievement reached. And, uh, yeah. Honestly, pretty good. Uh, rescue ace deck let's take a look at it guys because um 
yeah, these cards are new. And we got to see the Ultra Rare, the one we pulled. So I'm actually pretty excited to look at this build. I may copy it, yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, this is Rescue Ace. So, yeah, three Hydra. Pretty good. Uh, just some standard hand traps, you know. Yeah, Impulse is pretty key. Um, but, yeah, this is the Ace of the deck, yeah. So, yeah, uh, set up to four Rescue Ace Quick Plays. And we saw this effect twice. And we somehow still won. So, but anyway, really good card. This card's awesome. Uh, I'm glad we pulled at least one. So, that's good. And, yeah. Just some uh, Reborn stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty good deck. Pretty good. All right, so in fact, let me copy this deck here. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, because I think I'll try Rescue Ace at some point. Uh, with that, that should be all of our dailies, except for the Link Summon. So, yeah, let's just collect. And trap card. Yeah. I'm not worried about solo mode. All right, we should be able to open two more packs. Pretty good luck overall on stream. I think we'll open up two packs, and then we'll just call it a day, man. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah, because we, we crafted one Arise Heart, pulled another one. We also pulled the Tier Elements, uh, Cash Tira, and um, the Scareclaw one. And I did want just one of each, so... Honestly, pretty good luck, yeah. <laughs> um, I think two Rise Heart will do it for now. So anything else is just gravy, you know what I mean? So pretty good stream, guys. Let's see what we get here. Um, hmm. Oh, this is the Ritual. I see. Gotcha. So, and again, it is Hand or Field. Um, oh, oh, from the deck. Hmm. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, I see you, Prediction Princess. I see you. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right. Ooh, shiny. All right, here we go, guys. What's it gonna be? Right. Nice little shiny. Hmm, super rare. Okay. What do we got here? I guess key vision. Yeah, yeah, this card is really good. Pretty sure it's the... Yes, this card can be used as the entire requirement. So that's actually pretty key. Uh, and it, it's any water ritual monster. So, aka Kishkis. You know, so that's pretty good, honestly. Uh, Vision is really good. Really good. All right. So that's going to do it for me, I think. Um, Let's see. Let me go to my Twitch here. And um, let's see how much long we've been streaming. Uh, <laughs> no, I guess before we end out, let's just see for fun if anyone's in the dual. I don't, I don't think anyone is because uh, I told you guys like, hey, you know, let me know if you want a viewer duel. But uh, <laughs> I remember one one stream we were doing viewer duels and somebody was just randomly already in here. So which is pretty interesting. But yeah, I don't see anyone. So let me go here to my let's see who all is streaming here oh sam's streaming i mean uh i like sam <laughs> a lot of his video breakdowns are pretty awesome um yeah i tell you what guys let's raid sam uh, if he allows raids i don't know if he does um let's see here but yeah raid um let's try this um and his name is tgs and um yeah great yugi tuber uh pretty cool oh he does allow raid sweet so yeah yeah you guys go in there uh, yeah check out his youtube channel man um tgs anime uh he goes by sam um he's just he's, he's the guy who does all the breakdowns like would uh, Kaiba beat Alistair? Would Alistair beat, uh, you know, all the reverse breakdowns? But yeah, check him out, TGS Anime. And uh, yeah, show him some love over there. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> all right. Nice stream there. All right. <laughs> so lucky we pulled the Arise Heart, man. Really lucky. That's uh, 
That's really good luck. <laughs> I pulled it within only like 14 packs too, so not bad, really. Not bad at all, so. All right. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> oh, and I need to end my stream. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go over here. There we go. And.